Hi everybody, this is a recording of Peace Like a River, which is a spiritual arranged by Robert W. Smith. This part is for trombone and baritone. On your part it says baritone B, C, that stands for bass clef. Uh, this piece is a little bit slower. Uh, the tempo says gently, quarter note equals 80, so I will put my metronome at a quarter note equals 80 beats per minute. What makes this piece a, a little bit um, special and interesting are all of the dynamics in it. Remember, dynamics is the change in volume in your playing. There are a lot of crescendos, there are a lot of decrescendos. It creates shaping for the music. Let's talk about a couple things before I play it for you. If you would please find, oh goodness, there are no measure numbers. Um, if I were you, I would get a pencil and maybe pause the video and write in all of the measure numbers because then they're easier to find. Would you please find measure five? and go back one measure to measure four. Label as measure four. Uh, that rainbow line is called a slur. These is hap have happened in a couple other pieces we've worked on. Um, we have our E flat to a D. The slur means that the notes are smooth and connected. If you are playing baritone, then you are tonguing the E flat and then you are not tonguing the D. To if you are playing trombone, you do need to tongue them both, just maybe you tongue them with a do tongue instead of a two. Basically, trombones, this whole piece is more of a do tongue than a two. So don't say two, say do. There are a couple, uh, another slur happens, count forward with me, point to measure five, measure six, measure seven, measure eight has a slur in it. Measure 9, 10, 11. Measure 11 starts with a half rest. Half rest gets two beats. If I were you, I would write the numbers 1, 2 near that rest, or maybe write two beats so that you don't glance at it and think that it's four. Um, there are a couple other slurs throughout the whole piece. A lot of this piece, unless the conductor tells you otherwise, I would stagger breathe through a lot of this piece. For those of you that don't know what stagger breathing is, it means that between you and your stand partner, or at least the people you're sitting next to that are playing the same instrument as you, you need to breathe at different times. That way, while one person is taking a breath, the sound never stops because the other people are continuing to play and keeping the sound going. There may be a couple spots where you can breathe together. Um, I don't see any off the top of my head besides during the rests. Maybe the conductor will work on that with you. Um, find measure 38. You have three beats of rest, then G, F, F. In measure 39, it says RIT, R-I-T. Above that, RITARDANDO means that the conductor is slowing down. Would you please, with your pencil, not pen, use a pencil and write the word look up or draw a little eyeball so that you remember to look at your conductor so that you know how much he or she is slowing down. The last two measures have fermatas on them, fermati. So the, the second to last measure, you're holding a G for as long as the conductor wants. You're dying away to nothing. This is a perfect example of if you run out of breath, do not come and do not take a breath and then play the note again. It will be too soft, like the note itself will be too soft. And if you come in again, you're gonna stick out like a sore thumb. So if you run out of air, just hold up your instrument to your face and just look as if you're playing, but don't come in again. Just sit there and just hold in playing position. And the last measure is a fermata. That means other instruments in the band are playing and holding their note. You're not because you have a whole rest. You just can put your trombone or your baritone down in rest position and then just wait and listen. And that's all. That's all you have to do. All right, let's start our metronome at a quarter note equals 80. And let's play this whole thing. If it goes to, it probably won't go too fast for you, but if it does go too fast for you, you can change the speed, the bottom of this window, click the gear, and you can change the tempo of this piece. Here we go, beginning. One, two, huge breath. <sighs>
Good job. All right. Good luck. Remember to like and subscribe.